Greetings, esteemed enthusiasts of history and followers of the Equator AI channel. Elizabeth I is famously known as the Virgin Queen. She never married and never had children, keeping her suitors guessing and remaining non-committal whenever she could. But the Queen of England was an attractive marriage proposition to European royalty nonetheless, and Elizabeth was courted by many men during her lifetime. So let's see what people looked like in real life who thought they had a chance with Gloriana. Thomas Seymour. Following Henry VIII's death, Elizabeth was sent to live with Catherine Parr and her husband, Thomas Seymour, Baron Sudley. Seymour's interactions with the 14-year-old Elizabeth, including tickling her in her bedroom, have intrigued historians. He later sought to marry Elizabeth after Catherine's death. However, in 1549, Seymour was arrested and tried for treason, accused of plotting to marry Elizabeth and overthrow King Edward VI. This romantic episode is believed to have influenced Elizabeth's aversion to marriage and her subsequent relationships with men. King Philip II of Spain. Philip was married to Elizabeth's sister, Mary, and on her death, he remained in England for several months in an attempt to woo Elizabeth. Unfortunately for Philip, Elizabeth was a Protestant and had no interest in an alliance with Spain, nor in her half-sister's widower. Parliament was also firmly against the match, which made a diplomatic refusal slightly easier. Robert Dudley. Upon Elizabeth's succession in 1558, Robert Dudley was appointed master of the horse and swiftly ascended in her court. Rumors circulated in 1559 about Elizabeth's affection for Dudley despite his marriage. Marrying him would complicate England's diplomatic alliances and foster internal strife. Dudley's wife's mysterious death in 1560 tainted his reputation ending any serious consideration of marriage with Elizabeth. Nevertheless, their close relationship persisted. Dudley was granted the title Earl of Leicester in 1563 and amassed considerable wealth as a landowner in England. King Eric XIV of Sweden. Sweden was a Protestant nation and therefore attempts to make an alliance with the newly Protestant England were politically sensible. Prince Eric negotiated for Elizabeth's hand in marriage for several years but in 1560, she eventually wrote him a letter in which she expressed regret at not being able to reciprocate his feelings and firmly rejected his advances. Eric tried to marry various other European princesses before eventually marrying his mistress. Increasingly, he began to show signs of insanity and was eventually imprisoned and dethroned by his own brother. Archduke Charles of Austria. In 1567, Elizabeth began to consider Archduke Charles of Austria son of the Emperor Ferdinand. Again, religion stood in the way. As a Protestant, Elizabeth and her counselors were somewhat wary of creating alliances with Catholic countries. As with many of her suitors, Elizabeth kept Charles dangling for well over a year before finally rebuffing his advances. Francois, Duc d'Anjou. The Duke of Anjou was one of Elizabeth's most persistent suitors and perhaps one of those she considered the most carefully. Heir to the French throne, a marriage to Francois could be extremely advantageous politically, although it seems the people would not have been best pleased by a Frenchman becoming king. Unlike many of her suitors, Francois courted Elizabeth in person, and the two became close. She called him her frog, and many believe Elizabeth knew he would be her last serious suitor. There was already a 22-year age gap between the two. Robert Devereux, Earl of Essex. Robert Devereux was a favorite of Queen Elizabeth, despite their significant age difference. He held influential positions in her court, including Master of the Horse and Privy Council member. Their relationship was marked by turbulence, with Essex displaying a lack of respect for the Queen. As Lord Lieutenant of Ireland, he failed to suppress rebellion and faced trial and imprisonment upon his return to England. In 1601, Essex's bid for power led to his execution for treason after attempting to force Elizabeth to name James VI of Scotland as her successor. This betrayal is said to have deeply shocked Elizabeth and may have visibly aged her. If you liked the video, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel 